So this is about Imperfect VR. But before we get started, a short message from our sponsor. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong slide. I, I wanted to show this one, obviously. This is Mark Zuckerberg and the future of VR, maybe. I don't know anything about Mark personally. All I know about Mark is from the movie The Social Network. <laughs> from this movie, we can learn that Facebook was built on Mark's libido. And this is Palmer, friendly nerd, a wunderkind. He brought that second wave of VR that currently washes over us. We all are bathing in Palmer. Everybody loves Palmer. Except when we learn that he was secretly funding political shitposting and right-wing hate. Now Palmer is not so loved anymore because hate equals death. <laughs> and I made this before all this started as a sharky comment on art and VR. But what strikes me more importantly is that VR is a medium, a medium through which humans express their issues and needs, be it the designers, the technologists, or the players. And VR is part of a culture that needs to decide where to go. And this is not new, this is 1979. And it makes sense to look at film. It makes sense to look at indie. Indie is sexy. But indie is also dead since 1994. Your indie hero might rip you off while begging Palmer for a free VR headset. And it looks difficult, but it is really simple. From this comes this. Comes this. And VR is about human expression and perception. And as such, it does not belong to anyone, not to Facebook not to Palmer, not to the indie hero. It is a medium for everyone, for those who identify as nerds and coders, but also for those who do not. Imperfect VR is for them, and we need everyone badly, and everyone can make a VR. Thank you.